I'm sure people have seen uh, the latest carry on with the funders. It is another and total disgrace what is going on. Now I was so disgusted with what's going on. Today I had a film crew from Spain. I have another one coming from Brussels. I'm telling them what is happening with the European funding and where it is going. It is going to the terrorists. We're back to where we were in 1998 where Sinn Féin has wrong-footed the DUP and the money is going hand over fist back into the terrorist organisations. An utter and total disgrace. And the fact that we have to meet uh, tomorrow night as representatives of the innocent victims from areas like uh, Tilkeel, Rathfrenland, uh, here, Palmroy, all over areas that were badly affected are not getting one penny because Mark McGuinness, the butcher of the bog side, has decided, OK, we murdered and maimed them, but now we have a chance to get at them again. Let's stop any help that is going to them. And that's exactly what they're doing. And the DEP can't do a thing about it. They've been wrong for it. And, you know, if they would actually come out and say, OK, we misread the situation, we didn't expect for it to happen what has happened, you would actually respect them more for doing that. But for the turn around and say that they're actually doing things for the victims when they're not, it's hypocritical, to say the least. I can tell you this. I had a conversation with uh, Gregory Campbell where he told me there was 30 million going into the victims this year. A joke. Another and total joke. They have no idea what's going on. There is not one unionist innocent victims group receiving money at this particular time. And a matter of fact, we're having a meeting with the Umbrella Organisation. We're pulling them together uh, tomorrow night to have a meeting. Because not one of them at this time of this interview is receiving money or receiving any type of help because Sinn Féin will not sign off on it. Mark McGuinness will not sign off and give money to the victims. Like, we said this a number of years ago. We told the DUP a number of years ago that this would happen. And for not to put it into the OFM, DFM, it was ignored. This is the sec this is where the funders need to go, and this is where we'll be in Europe to go. Like when I said that film crew there today, and I showed them the photographs of the children with the guns in a centre that's been funded by European money irrespective of when it was funded. It's European money that they used to build that centre. And it's European money that they're using to pr produce the so-called tourist guides of South Armagh, the men who partake in the gun battles. It is that money that had them children running about that centre. And we will not quit until we are in Europe and raising the issue about SEUPB being incompetent and about them allowing that money to go where it has went to. And irrespective of, of the cost, and this is something they don't realise, we don't bow the knee under pressure. We aren't going anywhere, no matter what they do. And we will go back onto the streets, and we will take the protests to the people that need to hear it. It no matter who, what, where or when, but we will do it if need be. And it's another and total disgrace that 10, 12 years into a so-called peace agreement that the victims are once again being victimised. And not solely because of Sinn Féin IRA, but because of the DUP in Stormont, and especially the OFM, DFM. Now, we know they want to shut fire up. We know that. We know that is one of the things they want to do. But they're going to have to realise that is not the case. That is not happening. He, uh, they will not be shutting us up irrespective of, of what they do to Willie Fraser or to Fair. Why is Duncan Morrow writing in the papers that sectarianism is worse now than it ever was whenever they've put so much money in to community relations within Northern Ireland? What is going wrong? 
I'll tell you what's going wrong. The money's going to the perpetrators. It's not going to the genuine people on the ground. It is going to the perpetrators. And they're using it to glorify their actions. And in doing so, it's creating more sectarianism. That is why we are in the predicament that we were in. And the sooner people waking up to that, the better. Uh, they can say, well, he fears is this, and well, he fears is that. But the one thing I'll ask you today, show me where I'm wrong. You bring me the facts of where I'm wrong, and I'll stand down. I don't think I can be any fairer than that.